In our last videos, we looked at the effects of reverberation on the quality of conferencing audio. In this video, we're going to look at another important room acoustic quantity, ambient noise. Ambient, or background noise, can come from a multitude of different sources, but in a typical conference environment, we're usually concerned with air conditioning and building plant noise, noise from AV equipment, such as projectors and rack-mounted fans, occupancy noise, the unwanted noise of people working in adjacent spaces, and perhaps traffic noise. When it comes to conferencing, the detrimental effect of excessive noise is fairly obvious. It reduces intelligibility and makes it uncomfortable for far-end participants to listen for long periods of time. But how much is too much noise? Before we get there, we first need to explain how noise is measured. We quantify ambient noise in terms of its sound pressure level, or SPL, in decibels. Dedicated sound level meters are often used to measure SPL, though these days, most smartphones can do a reasonable job too. Typically, we're most interested in an overall SPL, which sums up the contributions from all the frequencies present in the noise source and provides a single number rating of the loudness of the source. You may often see a noise level presented as dBA, where the A stands for A weighting. What this means is that the measurement has first been filtered to approximate the hearing response of a human being, as we are most sensitive to mid-frequency sounds and are less sensitive to low and high-frequency sounds. In the ideal case, we'd prefer room noise levels to be between 30 and 35 dBA. If your conference room falls in this range, you can be confident of good audio performance with just about any microphone type. In the range 36 to about 45 dBA, the performance should be acceptable, but largely dependent on the microphone selection and placement. If the noise level is 50 dBA or higher though, performance is likely to be compromised. Well, that's the theory. In our next video, we're going to demonstrate the effects of noise by hearing how a microphone is affected by varying levels of noise in a typical conference environment.